All right, friends, look who's back. It's Ari, your favorite Fit Pro learning uh, guy. Yeah, I know. I've been doing a lot of language learning lately, and I'm starting to think uh, this channel is just becoming a smorgasbord of education and uh, fitness. I'm glad you're here for it, though. I appreciate that. Um, so right now, I'm jumping into a program called Dynamic Languages. I did a couple shorts about this in the past, um, maybe just one short, I can't remember, but I really wanted to give you an idea of what this actually is. Um, I recently started learning Japanese, like I am brand new. I started like maybe two weeks ago and um, I had tried this program in the past and I felt like I wasn't ready for it because I couldn't read hiragana and katakana. So, um, I have since taught myself <laughs> how to read hiragana and katakana. See, look, ashisatsu, uh, ashisatsu, okay? Don't know what it means, but I know how to read it. So now I have a leg up because before I was struggling and now I can read and I can kind of read katakana. It's a little bit tougher, but hopefully I don't have to for this. Um, kanji. That's oh, it's a work in progress. So here we have the um, the main page for Japanese. Uh, this is the first one. Um, you have your before lesson and your after lesson kind of talks with the. It's one of the uh, I want to say developers. Maybe Katie is a developer. Um, Katie and her husband, whose name is escaping me right now, um, David. Um, they go around the world and they go on different trips and they take language classes. So basically you take a language class with Katie and learn the way she learns in a language class. I really like this program. So I want to go through like this might be a super long video or I may, may edit it down. I don't know yet, but I want to give you an idea of what it looks like and what you can expect. So I'm going to go for the first lesson here. Um, I'll briefly show the before lesson, but again, it is like right now before my first ever Japanese lesson, I'm feeling nervous, but also really excited because I think I'm going to be the pretty cool once I can speak so Japanese. So I'm quite excited to get started. Am I ready to speak Japanese on film? Um, I guess now is as good a time as any. Um, I think I'm looking forward to being an example of what not to do as much as what to do. Uh, a little nervous about being on camera, but I think once I'm focused on learning the Japanese, I'm going to forget that the camera's there and it'll be fine. I don't remember my first German lesson because that was when I was... Okay, so you kind of get the idea. It's her talking about how she feels. I, don't, I could take or leave this one. Yeah, it's cool to know her, her, um, like her, not her story, but why she's here, her motivational reasons. But at the same time, I'm here for very selfish reasons and that's to learn Japanese. So we're gonna start here in the classroom and you can see there's like five different types. This is where I got hung up last time because I couldn't read the help uh, for it. So I do recommend if you go into this program, um, unless they change something since I've done it, uh, that you, you uh... oh, did I read that wrong? Aisatsu, Aisatsu, I did. I think I read that wrong earlier, but I recommend that you learn how to read hiragana, katakana, maybe a couple kanji, um, but let's get into it so I can show you what this is all about. It's like so high quality. That's greetings and also at chiko shoukai, which means self Introduction, chiko means self, and shokai means introduction. We're going to learn how to ask people their names, give our own name, and indicate how pleased we are to meet them. To ask someone their name, you use this phrase, o namae wa, and it consists of three separate parts. The first part is the prefix, o. This is the honorific prefix, and it's used in front of words, when you use those words about somebody else and it conveys respect. You don't use it in front of words that you So you can see that this is more of like a slideshow presentation. The rest of the application isn't like this. 
it does get into like the actual virtual reality. It's not just like, hey, you're in a classroom and here's a, a whiteboard. It does get into the virtual reality stuff. So feel free if you want to skip ahead from this part, I'm going to let it play, but I'm also going to put chapters down in the description. So if you do want to skip the kind of like not so um, virtual reality stuff, you can. OK, but I'm going to go through it, even though I, I'm pretty sure I know this. Um, I'm going to go through it anyway. Feel free to go through it with me so you get a sense for what it's like or skip to the cool VR stuff. You're using about yourself because in Japanese it's important for you to be humble and for you to show respect to people that you're talking to. So O oh, is the honorific prefix. Namaya simply means name. So O oh, Namaya, honorable name. You can only use that about somebody else. So in English, where we would say your name, you don't need to say that in Japanese because the O oh conveys the fact that it must be somebody else's name. So, onamaya. And then finally, is this word here. Now, this is actually a particle. It's particle wa. It's called our topic particle. And that's because it follows the word or the words which are what we're talking about in the sentence. It's our topic. Topic particle wa can be translated into English as something like as for or talking about. So as for your name, talking about your name, you'll notice that during the lessons, Yuka Sensei and I use a gesture for particle wa, and that is an open palm gesture. Now, although this onamae wa phrase is actually only half a sentence, it's not necessary to use the full sentence, which would probably be something like, as for your name, what is it? Because in this context, it's obvious that you're asking someone their name and it will be understood as such. For those of you who've been studying your hiragana, you'll notice that topic particle wa is actually written ha. with hiragana ha. There are only two hiragana which have an alternative reading, and this is one of them. When this hiragana appears in a word, it's pronounced ha, but when it's used as a particle, as it is here, it's pronounced wa. This is the pattern that we use to give our name. So we say our name first, followed by des. Des is a most remarkable word. It's the equivalent of the English verb to be, but it covers I am, you are, they are, we are, he, she, it is, and so on. And it doesn't have to change. You'll notice the word order is the opposite to English. So we give our name first, and then we finish our sentence with des. Japanese verbs always go at the end of the sentence. Yuka Sensei and I have a gesture for this, and it is a fist bumping down onto an open palm. So when you see that, you know that you need to say des. Now, when a Japanese person gives their name, you need to be careful because they will traditionally give their family name first, followed by their personal name. So Maki Tanaka, where Maki is the first name and Tanaka is the surname, would give her name as Tanaka Maki. And finally, something that you really need to be careful about with Japanese names, and that is once you know someone's name, you must use it followed by a title. The one size fits all title is San. You can put that after anybody's name and it's always polite. In Japanese, you use a title after a name, regardless whether that name is a family name or whether it's a personal or first name. And whilst we're talking about names, you, the virtual reality student, will be referred to as Seito-san in the lessons. And that means student-san or master, Miss Ms. Student. In the lessons, you'll hear Yuka-sensei and I refer to each other using the title Sensei. Sensei is a title which is used after teachers' names, after university professors' names. It's also used after doctors' names, and it's also used for a master, for example, in martial arts. There are further titles, but at this stage, you'll be safe with San and Sensei. Okay, so we've asked someone their name and we've given them our name. The next thing that we do is we have to give a greeting to indicate that we're pleased to meet them. And this is hajime mashite. It literally means for the first time. So it's like saying, well, it's lovely that we're meeting for the first time. And then if you haven't given your name yet, you would give your name at this point.
Now, Japanese names can be extremely difficult to catch, particularly if they're said quickly. So if you need to hear the name again, this is the expression that you would use. Mo ichido onegaishimasu. Mo means more, as in one more. Ichido is one time, so one time more, more ichido. And onegaishimasu is just a really nice, polite way of saying please. So, mo ichido onegaishimasu. Please, one more time. And of course, context will tell you that you're asking the other person to say whatever it was one more time. And you'll also hear a different way of saying this, which is equally common, and that is mo ikai. Again, that means one more time. Mo ikai onegaishimasu. And you complete your self-introduction or meeting someone for the first time with dozo yoroshiku. It's extremely difficult to translate this into English. It's used where we would say it's nice to meet you, but dozo yoroshiku is something like, please, let's get along well together. And that's how you introduce yourself to Japanese. Okay, okay. That one's in the bag, I guess. So that was the whiteboard one, okay? Uh... You can actually do these on a computer too if you don't want to sit here in a headset and look at a, a, a PowerPoint. You can actually do all of these, including some of the VR ones, including the VR ones, in um, uh, or rather on your PC or your laptop or whatever. So I'm going to get right into it. I know how to greet myself. Onagaishimasu. Dozo yoroshiku. Dozo yoroshiku. Oh. Oh. Namaiwa, oh Namaiwa. I think that was the other one, and uh, I forgot the other one. Hajime mashite. Okay, let's go. Game des. Ganbarimashou. Oh. Hey. Oh, I gotta give you a heads up on this. It, it's total immersion. So like, there's oh, I want to say there's no English at all in this. So you are back in this classroom. See, I used to be over there. Now, uh, oh, and there's the PowerPoint I just watched. So she probably just watched that PowerPoint over here with them. Um, that was the lady who was talking. And then this is Yuka Sensei. Um, but I just want you to know that this is full immersion, so there's no English at all. So let's let's do it. <gasps> it's a little silly too. Katie-san, um, ohayo, Seto-san. Ohayo. Hi. Can you repeat that? Hi. Ohayo. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Hi. 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 うん。さけ。さけです。はい、はい、です。うん。こんばんは。はい、よくできました。生徒さん。こんばんは。はい。こんばんは。こんばんは。はい。おお。ちょちょちょちょ。うん。<笑> すみません。すみません。はい。生徒さん。すみません。よくできました。はい。おお。ケイティさん。うん。おやすみ。おやすみ。おやすみ。はい。生徒さん。おやすみ。はい。シームレス。おやすみ。おやすみ。おやすみ。はい。おやすみなさい。おやすみなさい。はい。おやすみなさい。はい。よくできました。はい。
おはよう。おはよう。おはようございます。ケイティさん。おはようございます。素晴らしい。おはようございます。生徒さん。おはようございます。はい、よくできました。はい。おお。はい、ケイティさん。食べる食べる食べるこんにちは。はい。Oh. Oh, <笑>生徒さん。こんにちは。はい。Oh, right. green, こんにちは。こんにちは。はい。よくできました。はい。さようなら。ケイティさん。Um, さようなら。はい。生徒さんさよならさよならさよならはい、okay. さよならさよなら先生カジュアルはカジュアルはバイバイ<笑><笑>さよならじゃあまたじゃあまたじゃあまたじゃあまた,あまたはいじゃあねじゃあまたじゃあまた終わりますはい、さよならさよならさよなら OK、そう、どんどんどん OK、そう、なおいかとしいでそう、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、ロールプレイです。ロールプレイ。フォーマルです。フォーマル。エリさん。OK。OK。フォーマル。OK。おはようございます。おはようございます。はい。おはようございます。はじめまして。ちょっと待ってください。はい。おはようございます。ああ、OK。はい。おはようございます。おはようございます。はじめまして。はじめまして。お名前はケイティです。お名前はユカです。どうぞよろしく。どうぞよろしく。はい。はい、わかりました。じゃあ、次は、ケイティ、えっ、ー、と、先生と生徒さんですね、はい。ちょっと待ってください。はい。はい。じゃあ、えー、っと、これですね。わかりますかこんばんは。こんばんは。はじめまして。はじめまして。お名前は生徒さんです。生徒です。お名前はゆかです。どうぞよろしく。どうぞよろしく。どうぞ。OK。OK? はい、OK。おはよう。あ、あ、あ、あ、おはよう。ケイティさん、先生見てください。おはよう、ケイティさん。カジュアルです。ああ、カジュアルです。おはよう。おはよう。ああ、オッケー。です。な、オッケー。はい。おはよう。おはよう。はじめまして。はじめまして。うん。女名はゆかです。どうぞよろしく。どうぞよろしく。では、ケイティさん、生徒さん。はい、ケイチさん、ちょっと待ってください。はい。ちょっと待ってください。こんにちは。はい。どうぞ。どうぞ。OK。OK。こんにちは。OK。ポ、ポモ、こんにちは。はい、OK。同じです。こんにちは。こんにちは。はじめまして。はじめまして。あ、ちょっと、え、ケイジさん、お辞儀。先生、はい、お辞儀お願いします。はい、わかりました。はじめまして。はじ
こんにちは。こんにちは。初めまして。初めまして。お名前はセイトです。お名前はゆかです。どうぞよろしく。どうぞよろしく。はい、はい。よくできましたね。じゃあ今度はケイティさんとセイトさんですねちょっと待ってくださいはいこれですはじめましてはじめましてはじめまして。え、ギリさんもじいよ、じいよ、じいよ。はい、はじめまして。うん、どうぞよろしく。どうぞよろしく。どうぞよろしく。素晴らしいです。よくできました。素晴らしい。よくできました。これで終わります。は
恵子です。どうぞよろしく。さようなら。じゃあまた。こんにちは。はじめまして。米俊弘です。どうぞ。よろしく。おはようございます。おはようございます。はじめまして。はじめまして。お名前は。生徒です。どうぞよろしく。どうぞよろしく。じゃあね。さよなら。じゃあなた。さよなら。さよなら。じゃあね。okay so here I got tripped up。So now I have Giane.、Uh, Giane. Okay. And then these are the, I guess these are my potential answers. Giane.、Uh, sayonara. La, la, it's hard. L R thing.、Uh, ha, oh, oh, wait. Bye. Bye. Okay. I guess just say bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. おはようございます。はじめまして。私はタツです。よろしくお願いします。じゃあ、またね。こんにちは。こんにちは。はじめまして。はじめまして。お名前は。生徒です。生徒です。どうぞ、よろしく。はい、イージーだよ、バリ。どうぞ、よろしく。じゃあ、またね。じゃあね。Uh, bye bye. Okay. So I remember that one. Okay. So, not bad. I didn't mean to skip that one. I forgot that that meant skip. So, okay. So now we're going back to the class. I don't, I didn't get this far last time. I kind of bailed because I couldn't read any of the hiragana. So I kind of got stuck and I was like, I had never learned any Japanese before that. So, it、uh, looks like 1.9 minutes. That's cool. おめでとうございます。生徒さん、おめでとうございます。ケイティさん、おめでとうございます。ありがとう。どうぞ。いやいやいやいやいや、ケイティさん、ケイティさん。はい。Wow, right? oh, okay. はい。どうぞ。ありがとう。はい。よくできましたこ。こんにちは。素晴らしい。こんにちは。Okay, so I burned through that one. So, how do you feel after your first lesson of Japanese? Yeah, I feel basically Japanese now. I don't know what to say. I'm moving there. It's funny. <laughs> no, I feel good. I feel good. I think it went well. I think I understood、um, everything. I think. Um, it was good practicing. I feel more confident saying all the different hellos and goodbyes and meeting people. I know how deeply to bow and when not to bow. And、um, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot to take in, but I think it was good. All I would say is I apologize for how sweaty I was. We were on the last day of a massive heat wave here in the UK, <laughs> and I feel like it got very hot in that classroom at times. So sorry about that. Okay, my biggest challenge during that lesson, apart from the heat and the sweating, was probably. Remembering how to say good night, which I'm still not sure I've remembered. There were just one too many、either. syllables in it. That, I'm the same、um, way. I'm going to have to practice that one a bit、I'm、more. I'm exactly、But、the same. As much as I hate singing,、um, the song did really help as well. Remember things and like put in the actions、Wait. for the different ones was really helpful as well. I feel like that's I don't know about a song, but... drilled it in there. Do you like... <laughs> did you enjoy the singing? How did you find the singing? Yeah, the singing was probably my least favorite bit, but I'm very aware of how useful it is as a technique for learning.、Um, so I'm going to persevere with it. Oh, I'm sad. I, I want to sing. I apologize for that as well. Where's the singing?、Um, because it does really help, and I, then I can like, sing it in my head without anyone else having to、sing、hear it, it in the future, and it'll be useful. Am I ready for the next lesson? Hi! Yes, I am. I am ready for the next lesson. I think we're going to be learning nationalities or different countries, so that's going to be really useful. 
and uh, interesting. I'm wondering if there's going to be any connection with words I already know, because countries are often called kind of similar things in different languages. So we'll find out. I did have a sneak peek, obviously, of the presentation, but I didn't really pay any attention to what I was looking at. So we'll find out soon. You better be ready. You better be ready. Oh, <laughs> Okay, that's the guy I talked to on Discord. <clears throat> okay, so that's um, that's the full lesson. Okay, so that's like start to finish the first lesson. All right, let's go back one. That was uh, the first lesson here. Um, and then it looks like you go to nationalities, and then um, it, it – oops, I, I moved the wrong way. Sorry. Um, it looks like you go all the way through here. And it just keen continues opening up different things. And you can see that took me, I don't know, how many minutes? Look at the thing down here. It's, I didn't really cut much out of it. Um, but honestly, the only thing I skipped out of here, and it looks like it's about the same. I'm sad they cut out whatever song it was, though. That's kind of BS. I want to sing a song. Um, but it looks like it's the same format here. I can go back, uh, I, and again, it looks like the same format here, kotoba, kotoba, I don't know, um, and kotoba, I don't know what kotoba means, but I can, and I can't really contextually see what it is, but that's kind of cool, I get to see, you know, looking ahead, I'm guessing this is like travel, or maybe like nature stuff, this is obviously numbers, this looks like family. This looks like friends. This looks like celebrations. God, I push, keep pushing that button now. Okay, and then um, there's the the lessons explained right here. So if you don't know how to use it, this right here is. On a hot summer's day in Bishop Stortford in England, our co-founder and language director so, okay, Katie so, is about to embark. So okay, here are my like loves and you know could take it or leave it. So I don't want to say dislikes because I don't dislike anything. I, I dislike nothing. I don't know. But so I love the way it's set up. I love how there's a lot of repetition. A lot of times when you like do a Japanese program, like I'm also doing from zero online, which is really good, but my gripe with it and the teacher's so good because he's an American guy teaching it and he's, he's like fluent. He sounds native. Um, and he's really funny. Uh, but my gripe with it is there's not enough repetition. Here, it moves slowly. Yeah, I mean, this moves pretty slowly. But as a beginner, I'm okay with that. Like, if I am an advanced Japanese speaker, I would say I could probably skip this. But, like, I like having the repetitions. I want the song, though. Uh, I like having the repetitions of this. Maybe the song's in here. Maybe. Maybe not. Um... And I like how I got to practice it in lots of different environments, saying it to different people. And again, you you gotta have you gotta know how to read hiragana, uh, maybe not katakana. You gotta know how to at least read hiragana to get by on this if you get stuck um, and you don't want to skip a question. I'm kind of mad that I had to skip one on accident. Um, but yeah, so again, this is a really cool program to get you started. It's going to take some outside work. You're not going to be able to um, do all this without, you know, studying on your own outside. Maybe like, hey, oh, Combini, uh, doing some like Duolingo. And it looks like if I jump all the way to the end, it's just a similar setup here. And you can tell, you can see Katie went through all of this stuff. Uh, oh, so you do need to know some katakana. So katakana is used when it's like a non-native Japanese word. So this is chi... Oh, oh, this is a hiragana, I think. Oh, no, chi, it's a katakana. Chi, chi, eh, chi, et. Oh, shoot, my katakana reading is so bad. So I got chi, I want to say that's et. Chi, eh, I could be wrong here. Chi, et, tsu, kai, mm, so. Chi, et, tsu, kai, oh, ha! check in oh check in so it's like a check in uh cool check in oh god i'm so i'm so stupid i was right though chi che che i can't read them together yet it's a struggle but yeah check it out i thought i'd give you a, a jump on what it looks like in here it is a subscription base but it's not meant to be like subscribed to forever 
I believe the way they want to do it is like you subscribe for whatever month or two or three you do it for, you bang out all the lessons, and then you unsubscribe. I want to say that that's the best way I've seen to do it. There's a lot of like subscription-based Japanese learning out there. Um, but again, I don't believe this is meant to be like a Duolingo where you pay for, you know, you keep playing it over and over again. This is like you do it and it jump starts you into whatever Japanese progression you're going to do. Well, I want to know what this is. See, I can look over here. Kipu, 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 kipu. I don't know. So, I mean, I'll put a link for it in the description below. I really like it. If you're interested in learning Japanese, it's awesome way to start. Um, also Spanish, it covers Spanish here and on Spanish, you can actually go on trips and it also does English. You can go on trips to England and then they're adding Japanese trips soon. So Katie get to Japan so I can, uh, hurry up and watch, uh, your Japanese trips. Cause that, that looks really fun. Um, I, I snuck a peek at the, uh, Spain ones. Uh, but look, you can kind of see here. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Improving voice recognition UI, adding reward trips for completing each lesson. Oh, that's cool. Some big updates and improve. That's great. And this is mm, fairly recently, the end of last month. Okay, so there it is. Check it out or don't. It's awesome. Bye-bye. Sayonara, sayonara. I got to get that R down.